afternoon here. This is William here with uh, Now's the Time to Act. I'm going to be working on my 2003 F250 Power Stroke 6 liter. I have a diesel leak in the top of the engine compartment here and I'm going to figure out where that's coming from and then hopefully fix it up and not have to pay an arm or a leg. Let me show you where the leak's at real quick. See if I can get it focused. is I'm going to clean out that with some brake parts cleaner and an air compressor and then see if we can find out where the leak is. So let me get back with you in just a second. Alright, well welcome back. I went and got the brake parts cleaner and the air compressor and blew out the diesel that was leaking right in this area here. Come to find out that right here and right here had a whole bunch of gunk and diesel still in it. You can kind of see it. So what I'm going to have to do is find out if it's actually leaking from inside that and go from there. Be right back. All right, welcome back here. After doing some research, I figured I'm gonna go ahead and change both the fuel filter and then the water fuel separator filters. I got here is the uh, Duralast FF79DL uh, at AutoZone. Cost me 50 bucks plus the soda. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. Let me go ahead and go over here. Right here uh, after watching uh, Bullshit Corner kind of got a few ideas off of him I tried uh, using a wrench to screw off the top it was a no-go because I started stripping it because it's a plastic but uh, he had recommended using a half inch socket set and it comes right off so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the phone here Definitely need two hands. Can't hold the phone. It should come right off. Not entirely sure where or why it was spraying diesel, but it definitely was. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace that, and hopefully that fixes the problem. That is a shot fuel filter, holy shit, if I've ever seen one. Alright, we're back. Here's the fuel filter. You got the shallow end. Start to see. And you got the deep end where you can stick your finger all the way in it. That's going to go in first. Just going to put that right in there. Now let's take this old O-ring off. If it even fucking still has one. Yeah, it does. Let me get a knife. Be right back. Alright, we're back. Got the O-ring off of the screwdriver because it was being a pain in the ass. But here's the new O-ring. You want to put that on. Don't forget to put the fuel filter on. Uh, excuse me, put the O-ring on the fuel filter cap. Should just... Yeah, I apologize about the one-handedness. Should just fit right in there. All the way around the top. Hold on one sec. The other size O-ring to the one that's in there. It's about half the size, so I can definitely see why it was leaking out. Let's go ahead and put the cap back on. Give it a couple turns. There's that. Plug that back in. Alright, let's fire it up and see if she works. Alright, back inside here. We're going to go ahead and get started up. Uh, neat little trick that I learned off of watching another video on YouTube was to go ahead and prime it about three times. So we're going to go ahead and start it. Let the little glow plug light 
turn off, turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off. What this is doing is just priming it, make sure it's getting all the air out, putting the diesel back into the filter. All right, one more time. Here we go. All right. I had to get it jumped because the alternator uh, got wet with diesel and I don't know, I had to, whatever. Anyway, I had to jump it, but it got started right up as soon as I put it on the other vehicle. But as you can see, as you can see, no more leaks. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. I subscribed, and now's the time to act, and I will try to upload more useful videos in the future. Thank you very much.